no are we live we are we are live or we are not we are live hello as promised i unpacked yesterday the watercolors if you remember and as promised yesterday um i'm gonna make the split here you receive this um chart with the colors and i'm just gonna paint the chart with you so you can see the different colors because sometimes in the box they look almost black like this color it looks black but it's actually i don't know if you guys can see it it's a bit um, reflecting but actually it's purple so um let's do that together if you have any questions, comments, say hi. When you pop on, I still see the comments even though you're inclined. I have my little trick. <laughs> so we will start from the bottom, uh, from the top left hand, left hand corner, which is the rose matter deep. <coughs> Almost a pinkish color really pretty let me take a, a napkin there we go then the next one is carmine red which is also a lot of pink so the rose mod matter light colored you can see the difference this is much darker than this one <coughs> then the red the normal red it's good to have a chart so when you're looking for colors hi Julie when you're looking for colors with the chart you can um, decide you don't have to just go blind, fly by blind. You can with the chart you can see what the color looks like when it's once it's painted. Cad cadmium scarlet. So it's a bit orangey already. Then the orange, orange, cadmium orange, which is a yellowish orange, I really like this. I'm gonna add some more. There we go. It's actually yes, nothing like testing out new yes, a new set of paintings. It's amazing to test them out. You have to try all the colours. This is the cadmium yellow, it's very very bright. then another yellow that's called uh, Aureoline the box came from France so it's French very nice color as well and then the lemon yellow which is uh, almost fluorescent I know this because I have it in my other box you can see it it's like almost glows <laughs> and then we go greenish yellow which you could use when you paint the kiwi for example then the olive green The lime green, which is also very bright. The Japanese colors pigmentation is bound with glues, so they are much more intense in colors. What else is ah, hi Sasha. Then the sap green or the Christmas tree green in the light color. And the Christmas tree, let's say it like that, dark color. 
and then a green I don't know why they call it this name it's called hooker's green what the heck choosing a name like that for such a beautiful green but yeah so then we have um, a deep green Christmas tree green let's call it like that even though it's not really its correct name then we have the forest green very nice green huh the turquoise deep green which is one of my favorite colors it's bluish green it's really nice um, the viridian So lots of different kinds of greens, malachite color, which is actually a mineral, malachite. Then we have the horizon blue, which is like a baby blue, it's very very pale. Not one, not a color I use very much because it's so pale. Then you have the Ultramine, ultramarine pale color Voila. And then turquoise blue and the little cart is slowly getting filled up that's a really really nice color I don't know if you guys can really see it actually the light I have is not the best then cerulean, cerulean blue, very bright and pretty, cobalt blue is the next one, all the possibilities we, can, we have here, all the creations that are going to be possible with these, Ult ultramarine, the darker one this one was the pale one this is the dark one yeah. then we have the Prussian blue this is even darker indigo one of my favorite blues It's a very dark, rich blue. Then I have the blue-grey deep. Which is almost black, as you can see. It's imperial violet. Which is beautiful and we have the cobalt violet so these are two colors that I use a lot <laughs> if you haven't looked at my paintings you know let's slide the chart up a little bit so you can guys can see better let's see let's see yes there we go then we have uh, purple Not enough color. I'm going to need to be a little bit darker. This I, this color I know, so I know how it looks more or less. Then this is a new color. The four next colors are new colors, colors that I don't know. They're called lilac, cherry blossom, pink, rose beige, and natural beige. So the lilac. Very pretty. And then the cherry blossom pink. I mean, how beautiful is that? Then the rose beige, which is more like a skin color. Very pale, as you can see. And then the nat natural beige. 
this is almost white so these two don't um, distinguish it from each other very much then you have the yellow ochre which is a bit yellowish the burnt sienna maroon very dark brown reddish dark brown and then the indian red hope you guys can see the box a little bit the raw raw amber deep which is a darker brown Can you guys still see it? Yes. The black, of course. <coughs> Grey. And we have the white, which will not show very much because it's white on white, but let's do it anyway. And then they have three colors that are glittery the white gold, lush gold and gold they normally take a lot more water to dissolve and get some paint on the brush I've discovered with my other box and it's um, almost like mother of pearl colors it's uh, quite astonishing as a result when you use it in a painting and we have the bluish gold this is when we want sparkle in our life we can use these three last ones and then the gold and that's it from the box so a chart like this now i just have to let it dry a chart like this will help me when i and painting to see um, which colors I want to choose because if you look at the box you can see that these colors are almost black and very hard to distinguish this um, is the cobalt purple the cobalt violet so if you see on the paper it's um, can you actually you can't see it but it's quite a bright color and if you look here it's like super dark as is this, it's quite dark, but actually it's a reddish brown. I'm gonna swivel you guys up. Don't get seasick. <laughs> up we go. <laughs> Hi Peta. <laughs> Hi Dawn. I was gonna jump off. I just finished making the the color chart for my um, for the Kuretake watercolors that I received. I received the, this box yesterday so I was quite excited <laughs> I'm still excited it's like a kid in the in the candy box in the candy store sorry <laughs> um, yeah that's it for me for now I'm I'm working on one uh, another divine feminine painting so I'll keep you posted on that and show progress pics slowly uh, she's slowly emerging and um, I wish you all a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.